Hey, I'm Travis and this is Dev Tips. Welcome to the video series called Learn jQuery in only 15 minutes. <laughs> jQuery is the most popular JavaScript library that ever existed. Seriously, it is the most widely used JS library ever written, period. This is the search I did earlier today on Google Trends. You can see that it absolutely dwarfs the other libraries, both in popularity and longevity. I've worked at several companies that have used Backbone and Angular, heck, even the Rails stack that I worked on, they still use jQuery in addition. According to BuiltWith.com, 78% of the top million websites in the world use jQuery. No other libraries come even close to that kind of penetration. It's a powerful tool and it really doesn't go out of style. It's been around for over 10 years and they are only on version two, which means that it's really stable software and everything you learn will not change the next time you blink. So learning jQuery today is actually a really great investment. Now I decided on the name of these videos before I even created them. So packing everything into just 15 minutes was actually really difficult. But the goal is to deliver a solid foundation in as condensed amount of time as possible. And I think that the next few videos that you watch here are going to set you up for great success. In this welcome video, I'm actually gonna walk you through downloading and setting up your project. And in the next video, we'll actually start the timer. We'll cover selectors and animations and filters. And then in the video after that, We'll cover attributes and classes, and we'll also make a quick and dirty little image swapper. In the third video, we'll cover DOM traversal and event handlers, and at the end, I show you how to make a little laser light show with your keyboard. It's fun. If any of that sounds complicated, don't worry, it's really not, and I tried to make my tutorials as simple and as fun as possible. So let's get started right now. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna have to download jQuery library and install it into our project. After we're done with that, I wanna show you the first things we need to do before we can really start writing jQuery code. So to download it, let's go to jQuery.com as we are right here, and we can just click on this download button. And there's a few ways to do this actually. And keep in mind that there's also a few different versions of jQuery that you have the option to choose. Uh, right now I'm using jQuery 2.2.2. This is the latest. And there's also a, a current version of jQuery 1. And we can talk about the differences another time but you can download this file directly. If I just click the download and I get the file right there. Uh, other ways to use it are by using package managers like Bower. Another popular way to do it is by using a CDN, which is a content delivery network. You don't have to download the file at all. You just copy this line and then go into your, uh, your HTML and just paste it in and then you have jQuery installed. That's an easy way to do it. But you have to have an internet connection when you're coding. So I tend to actually download the code myself and then just use a script tag to link it to my HTML page. Now you notice that I'm, I'm putting these script tags the last thing in the document right before the end body tag, right? They're like the last thing. If I expand this section, you see a bunch of HTML here and then the very last thing is the script tag. Now right end of that is another script tag. And this one is a document called learnjquery.js. And if I open up my sidebar, you can see here that I've got this file called learnjquery. And it's a blank file at the moment. This is where we're gonna be um, typing out the code for this whole series in learnjquery.js. And so we have the order here is important. First it's jQuery and then learn jQuery. You need to include jQuery before what we write because we're gonna be using what was included right above us, okay? That's important. And that's installing jQuery. It's pretty simple, but it's important to get it right. Now let's talk about a few conventions that we need to understand before we can start writing and using jQuery. The first one is this little dollar sign. You're gonna see this a lot in the next few videos here on DevTips when we're going through learning jQuery in 15 minutes. This dollar sign is kind of shorthand for the word jQuery. You're gonna see it written like this, dollar, paren, and then like, you know, an ID or something. And that is exactly the same as writing jQuery, paren, ID. 
exactly the same thing. It's just shorter to write. jQuery is not the only library that uses the dollar sign, so there's ways around using both, um, you know, them together, but that's what that means. When you see that dollar, that is shorthand for jQuery. It's, it's jQuery calling the jQuery object, and you don't need to really worry about that too much. Just understand that that dollar sign is shorthand for jQuery. Now, another thing to keep in mind is we have something in jQuery uh, called the document ready statement, right? It looks something like this, dollar, which means jQuery, and then inside you write document, and then you use a, a method called ready. Now document ready means that everything that's gonna be inside here, every, every function that's gonna be inside this ready, uh, let me write a function, is going to be acted upon after the document itself is, is ready, is loaded. Now that doesn't mean after the page is rendered on the browser, it just means that the DOM is, is, is read by the browser and it knows what all of the nodes are. The document tree has been parsed, basically. Okay, now, now why is that important? Let's say, and we're gonna learn about selectors in the next lesson, but let's say we want to, we want to, we want to identify that, that ID. And we're using jQuery and saying, hey jQuery, read that document and find this specific ID. Well, if this, ha if this kind of statement happens out here, and the browser is so fast that it reads through this JavaScript before it even knows what the page is, there's no way that it can find that ID in the HTML because it's not been read yet. So what this statement here does on line one is that says don't don't fire off this JavaScript contained in here until the document itself, the DOM, has been parsed by the browser. And you'll see this kind of statement here all the time that you put your code inside of the document ready. Now there's a shortcut to writing the document ready also, which is dollar and then inside those parentheses, you start writing that function, like an anonymous function, and then anything you put inside here will be the same as this. It's, it's basically the same thing, just a little bit shorter. Most of the times you'll probably see that second one because because it's shorter. It doesn't really mean anything different. I personally actually kind of like to do this one. It's a little bit more expressive and it, let, it reminds me exactly what's happening, but it doesn't matter. So these two things are important to keep in mind. Number one, that this means jQuery, and number two, that this document ready statement is required for um, functions that are gonna be happening to the document itself, right? We wanna make sure the document is loaded before we act upon it. And that's it. You have those two little nuggets of wisdom and now we're ready to move on to the other videos and learn actually how to use jQuery. Okay, so the timer starts in the next video. See you then. You can find all the code on GitHub. The link is in the video description down below. Learn jQuery in 15 minutes. 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 Learn jQuery. Learn jQuery in 15 minutes. 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 That's stupid. Learn jQuery in 15 minutes. Learn jQuery in 15 minutes. Learn jQuery in... Learn j... What? Learn jQuery in 15 minutes. Learn jQuery in 15 minutes. Do the other one too, because I'm not sure which which one it is. Learn jQuery in 15 minutes. Learn jQuery in 15 minutes. Learn jQuery in 15 minutes. Why am I so aggressive? <laughs> Learn jQuery in 15 minutes. 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 Oh, that hurt. Learn jQuery in 15 minutes. You know, I don't know if any of those those are good. Let's move on.